I'm gonna make the silly gummy bear pancakes from The Sims 4 exactly how it's made in game. Let's do it. First, pour all the ingredients into the bowl. After it magically becomes batter, mix it Harlem Globetrotter style. There we go. Next, add the oil. Mix it all up again. Adding the oil now means that you don't have to put it in the pan later. Now let's cook. Pour a healthy sized pancake onto a nonstick pan. I'm not gonna randomly switch burners because I only have one. Some oil and pepper. Don't worry about the separation. Flip it when it bubbles. Really get in there if you have to. More oil and pepper for flavor. Mine didn't catch on fire, so maybe it won't taste as good. Give it a flip. There we go. Pro move. Now let's plate it. As soon as it touches the plate, gummy bears, syrup, and butter just appear. But let's see how it tastes. Mmm, delicious. All jokes aside, this is what actually happens if you follow The Sims. That's why I'm gonna make an apple pie from The Sims 4 exactly how it's made in-game. Let's do it. Once again, throw all your ingredients in a bowl and beat it like it owes you money once it magically mixes. Don't worry about spillage, there's no moisture in this. Add salt and pepper to really bring out the apple flavor. Give the pie one more good mix because now we need to use some elbow grease. Place the dough on a floured surface and vigorously knead it. My dough's a little tough right now so I can't flip it, so add some oil so we can do more complicated tricks. Now you should be able to flip the dough with little resistance. Now it's finally time to bake. Dump the dough into the oven and use your bare hands to push the grate back in despite it being as hot as the sun. Once it's done, pull the finished pie out, temporarily forget you're human and burn yourself, and set it down to cool. And there you have it. Let's see how it tastes. Gonna do everything I can not to get it on my shirt. Absolutely delicious. And it smells incredible. Okay, jokes aside, this is the real result. I should have known better when I said, I'm gonna make the Grand Turkey Dinner from The Sims 4 exactly how it's made in game. Let's do it. Go ahead and dump your vegetables into a bowl. Once it becomes a marinade, give it a good mix to spread everything around. Add some salt. Some pepper should combat the extra salt. Give it another mix. In hindsight, the extra salt should help improve the taste. Now let's cook. Open your oven and pull out the factory provided oven turkey and dump the marinade right on top. After about 15 minutes, give the turkey a good oil and pepper bath to really get a good color. After the turkey has started to brown, add some more salt. A little knob of butter to get extra fancy, and let that roast for about 30 minutes. I noticed it wasn't browning as much as I'd like, so I added some more butter. Once the time's up, pull out your finished turkey. And there you have it, the Sims 4 Grand Turkey Dinner. Let's see how it tastes. Mm, I love the stuffing. I've never made it with only vegetables before. Alright y'all, obviously this isn't what you get if you follow The Sims. If you do what I did, this is the end result. I hope y'all have a happy Thanksgiving and I'll reconsider whether I'm gonna show you how to make the rainbow brownies from The Sims 4 exactly how it's made in game. Let's do it. Dump your ingredients into the bowl and when it becomes batter, add some more oil to loosen it up. Add one egg. A little eggshell never hurt anybody. Let's get that out and try again. Add one egg. Give it a good mix to break up the eggshells. About 50 stirs should be enough. Next, add some water to ensure it's even looser. Give it one last mix so that it resembles exactly what you're thinking. I meant pancake mix, get your mind out of the gutter. Now let's get cooking. Pour the batter into the pan and let it cook at 350 for 35 minutes. Carefully take out the brownies when they look frosted and topped with sprinkles. And there you go, the rainbow brownies from The Sims 4. Let's see how they taste. Surprisingly, didn't get any eggshells. It's super sweet despite not having put any sugar into it. Okay, okay, if you follow The Sims, this is actually the result. Let's see how it tastes. Can't be that bad, right? Nope, nope. Maybe don't listen to me when I say, I'm gonna show you how to make the winter cake from The Sims 4 exactly how it's made in game. Let's do it. Once again, throw all your ingredients into the bowl and mix the batter until it's well combined. This is looking a bit dry, so I'm gonna add a little bit of oil to make it smoother. Give it another mix so that the oil incorporates. Add some pepper, you know it's not a cake without pepper. And once again, stir that up so we don't get a mouthful of pepper. Now let's bake a cake. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees and carefully dump your batter into the pan from a safe distance. Let that bake for about 30 minutes and take out the cake when it seems frosted and topped. And there you have it, the winter cake from The Sims 4. Let's see how it tastes. Honestly, the cake is very light and the frosting is super sweet. You can barely taste the pepper. All right, if you actually follow The Sims, this is the result. Let's try it. Doesn't look that bad. Oh my God, it's so dry. 
Happy holidays, everyone, and maybe don't listen to me when I say, I made Halo Halo from the Sims 4 4 end expansion pack exactly how it's made in-game. Let me show you how I did it. First, make sure you take your vegetables and just throw them aside because we're using apples. Carefully quarter your apples, and of course, oil and pepper them for flavor. Now get your watermelon and quarter that as well. Now it's time to throw caution to the wind and go into overdrive mode. Once you've pulverized your fruit, throw it into a bowl. And there you have it, Halo Halo from the Sims 4 4 and expansion pack. Let's see how it tastes. Honestly, the ube ice cream has a grainy taste that I'm not super fond of, but it's extremely refreshing. Okay, so you and I both know this isn't what we made. This is. If you really want to make Halo Halo, here's what you need. And that's how I made the Welcome Wagon Fruitcake from The Sims 4 exactly how it's made in-game. Let me show you how I did it. As usual, dump your ingredients into a bowl and stir it to finish mixing the batter. Add a little bit more oil and stir it up nice and good. Now I don't know why, but when we transfer the batter to another bowl, it turns brown. Stir that up, and just in case, add more oil. Do one final stir for good measure. Now let's bake. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and just dump your batter into the pan. Take the fruitcake out when the bow fully materializes. And there you have it, the Welcome Wagon Fruitcake from The Sims 4. Let's see how it tastes. What do you know? I like it. Okay, so what we actually made was this. Let's taste it, I guess. Gonna get the smallest piece possible and... Oh, God. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss my next video on how I actually made the Welcome Wagon Fruitcake because I'm joking when I say I made the Welcome Wagon Fruitcake from The Sims 4 how it's actually supposed to be made. Let me show you how I did it. Dump one bag of pre-made golden cake mix into a mixing bowl. Add three eggs and one additional egg yolk. A third of a cup of butter, half a cup of water, and half a cup of milk. Vigorously mix it for two minutes or cheat and use a stand mixer like I am. Once your batter is nice and soft, add half a cup of glazed red cherries, halved, half a cup of tropical mixed candied fruit, and half a cup of glazed green cherries, half. Slowly mix the fruit into the batter and put it aside. Line a Pullman loaf pan with parchment paper and carefully pour the batter in. Pound it against the table a few times to remove bubbles. And smooth the top the best you can. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and let your cake bake for about 45 minutes or until it passes the toothpick test. Let the cake cool for about 10 minutes before removing it from the pan and onto a white dish. Finally, dress your fruit cake with a red ribbon. We want the ribbon to be slightly off-center. As you can see, I didn't actually tie a ribbon. Let's keep that to ourselves. And that's the Welcome Wagon Fruit Cake from The Sims 4. Subscribe and click the video below to see me make the Welcome Wagon Fruit Cake exactly how The Sims 4 does it. For the holidays, I made bread pudding from The Sims 4 exactly how it's made in-game. All right, people, let's do this one last time. Ingredients, bowl, stir, oil, pepper, stir, more oil, stir, pour, magic, and that's the bread pudding from The Sims 4. Now let me show you how to really do it. The main ingredient, of course, is bread. Take any stale bread and cut it up into one inch cubes and set aside. Next, we make a basic custard using one and three fourths cup sugar, one and a half cups of milk, five eggs, and a tablespoon of vanilla. Tiny whisk that up like my boy Babish says and set aside. Next, we need to make a brown sugar butter mixture using half a cup of brown sugar and one fourth cup of butter. I almost lost a finger during this like a moron, so don't be like me. Fill five or six ramekins with your bread and then pour a generous portion of custard into each one. Dollop some of the brown sugar mixture on top and then bake at 350 degrees for about 40 minutes. Once they look amazing, let them rest. They will deflate, that's okay. Dress them with fresh raspberries and then hit it with some powdered sugar and plate. Voila, bread pudding from The Sims 4. Let's see how they taste. Sweet, buttery, crunchy, it's so delicious. Perfect holiday meal. Merry Christmas and happy holidays, everybody. See you next year.